In this chapter, we're going to look at the second major component in the sound creation process, the filter section. Filters shape the sound that the oscillators produce. If we look at how your voice is produced, it begins with the vocal cords, which are your oscillators. Then the sound moves up your windpipe, which is the bus, and through your mouth, or filter. The shape of your mouth controls the shape of the sound, and this is what separates singing from speaking, or separates one word from another. If we open up the schematic again, you can see the same basic signal chain, oscillator, bus, filter. Now, a human being only has one filter, although I have known some people who could speak out of both sides of it. Zeta, on the other hand, has two filters built in. The first control to look at is the mode button. This lets you set up the filters two different ways. Use parallel mode if you want two separate filter options. Then you can use the 1-2 slider from the oscillator to route some of the oscillators to one filter and other oscillators to the other filter. Or you can put the filters into dual mode and run the entire sound through both filters. The second control to look at is the type selection. Zeta gives you 15 types of filters. Now the very first type is off, and this allows you to bypass the filter completely if you want to. The next nine options are subtractive filters, which means they only allow part of the sound to pass by subtracting the rest of the sound. The letters tell you what part of the sound is allowed to pass. For example, LPF stands for low pass filter, and that only allows low frequencies to pass. The numbers tell you how radically these filters cut off the rest of the sound. You'll see a graphic representation of each filter you select, but you can't click and drag to modify it. You have to use the cutoff control. So if I select a 12 dB bandpass filter, I can use the cutoff knob to move the target band around. And if I switch to a steeper filter like 24 or 36 decibel per octave, you can see how much faster the cutoff is applied. The other two filter types are formant and comb filter. The formant filter is designed to sound like a human mouth, especially if you move the cutoff control while holding a note, like this. Now the way Zeta achieves this is by carefully adjusting the resonance to mimic the human mouth. This is why the resonance controls are disabled any time you select a formant filter. But what is resonance? Resonance is when one vibration sets off another vibration, like when loud music makes the water in your glass vibrate. In other words, resonation creates new oscillations that are added to the original sound. It's sound bouncing off sound. That's why you get the Darth Vader effect when you speak into a running fan. In a synthesizer, resonance is created by artificially feeding part of the signal back into itself. So the more resonance you dial in, the more new sound is generated. The controls for pan and level are pretty self-explanatory. And if you select this link function, you can control both filters at once. But be careful, when you select link and you move one control, its twin will snap to that value. On the left-hand side, you also have controls for limiter, which lets you select how quickly the filter reacts. And you have the option for resonance boost, which gives you more resonance at higher frequencies. Okay, let's move on to the next chapter and begin looking at the controls.